Start a bit, start a rhyme Reading comics, twists are hella sick Start a bit Whoever can name these guns gets a free Hot Toys Hulkbuster Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here Doing another Jurassic World action figure review On the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Spinosaurus if you're Trying to get your Jurassic World toys, you can do so at big Big, big, get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I actually picked this up at the San Jose Toy Show, and I gotta give a big thanks to Dave for selling me this. He actually got super lucky a while ago and picked this up at retail, and he sold this to me for retail price, which is ridiculous because this inflated greatly over in the aftermarket, but there will be another version of this coming out with the Dino Damage. But this one right here is the original, and I'm very excited for it. Thank you so much, Dave. Anyway, you can see T-Rex right over there. Uh, you can see the extreme chomp in action right down there. It says Jurassic World Legacy Collection. On this side, you can see Jurassic World Legacy Collection. And then on the very back, you can see some product shot. And then it says Gigantic Bike Spinosaurus. There's some other toys right down there. And you can see the Spinosaurus face. Nothing really at the top over here or at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here is Spinosaurus out of the packaging. And right off the bat, I think it looks amazing. I always thought it looked amazing because I was able to see the figure without having to open anything up. Just sitting there in the open packaging. It looks great. I really like these paint apps, and it does have some pretty good articulation as well. No sound feature though, uh, but yeah, let's take a closer look at Spinosaurus. So when I think about watching Jurassic Park 3 and seeing Spinosaurus, I don't remember the red being so prominent over here, but it looks like it was a lot more prominent on some of the concept art. But regardless, I don't think this creature actually walked around on its hind legs like this. It looks like it was an aquatic predator that swam around, maybe, I don't know, especially with that long crocodile-like snout, which actually came out looking really good over here. I do like this quite a bit. That is awesome. Now the teeth, you know, uh, it's missing a little bit of paint right over here and right here. That's my biggest gripe about it, but I like how the eyes came out. I love this texturing for the scales and everything, and the red does look neat. It does complement the gray very well, so I do like how it looks. It doesn't really bother me, but that looks really good right there. I like that. You could open up the mouth by hitting the button right here on the back, and you can see that it opens up very wide. I love how the tongue waggles just for a second when you open it. That's really cool. I wish there was a sound feature here, but still really dig it. And you can see the inside of the mouth right over there looking really good. I like that. There's underneath of the chin looking great. And there's the top of the head. Yeah, definitely reminds me of a crocodile snout. And you can see a white streak coming down the side of the neck of the Spinosaurus going all the way to the torso. And then you got this cool little white streaking slash camouflage kind of thing going on on the thighs. And then I like how the fingernails came out over here. Nice clean gray paint. And the white dots throughout, you know, they look pretty cool. I, I like how it looks. It adds some depth to the figure. Here. Uh, you can see a little bit of bleeding of those white dots on the toes, but it doesn't really bother me too much. And again, I love how the scales were sculpted throughout on this figure. It just looks really good. I love it. Then the red all the way through looks really good. We get a kind of softer material for the actual spine itself. And then you can see there's a little bit of a dent right there. It's missing just a touch of paint, a little irksome, but not a big deal. Then you can see all the white right over there on the belly. Then he does have some peg holes at the bottom of his feet, but they're not really peg holes. They're just to secure the figure in the packaging. To measure out Spinosaurus, you can see from no to tail, uh, he or she is about 21 inches across, and then measuring out the height in a neutral pose like this, you can see it's at about 10 inches tall, depending on how you have it posed. And for a size comparison, we have Spinosaurus next to T-Rex from Jurassic World, and I think this size difference actually looks really good. This is the stomp and throw or the thrash and throw T-Rex right over here, and yeah, uh, I think they scale out very nicely. I like the sounds right over there. Spinosaurus does look larger than T-Rex as it should, so that works out pretty well for me. I'm happy with that. Actually, I regret not getting the brown version of this. You know, I've seen it in the store a while many times, but never picked it up, and now it's gone! And then here's Spinosaurus next to Indominus Rex, which I have not reviewed. If you want to see me review this, please let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, Indominus is quite larger than Spinosaurus. If I remember correctly, Spinosaurus should be a little bit smaller than Indominus over here. And then here's the Spinosaurus next to your average system scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man. Ooh, a Slytosaurus! Badass! I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> badass. So a gripe I do have with this figure is that you cannot really leave the mouth open without some assistance. So what I did was shove a hit monkey gun right there into the button of the back of the neck and his mouth stays open okay, or her mouth stays open. I keep screwing that up. But anyway, I love this dino figure. This is awesome. I'm very, very happy to have it, man. I really like it a lot and I felt like my little collection over here of dinos from Mattel has been incomplete without it. So I'm super happy that this has been added to my collection and I'm super happy that Mattel is making another one with the battle damage. 
damage, so I think that's great. Next one I need to get is the Brachiosaurus. I saw that the day before it was allowed to be released on the shelf at Target, and they wouldn't let me buy it, and I haven't found one ever since, so I need that Brachiosaurus so much. But anyway, at the price point of about 30 bucks, I'm gonna go ahead and give this Spinosaurus a sub rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think, so let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you liked this video, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to all these people over here that support this YouTube channel on Patreon. I just posted a giveaway announcement for a Marvel Legends Mr. Sinister. If you're interested in supporting, check it out. Link below. If you want to see the latest in action figure news, check out ToyNewsEye.com. And don't forget to follow me over on the Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! <laughs> Short of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.